FL Noob Zone. FL Noob Zone. Yes. We are back in the FL Noob Zone. Oh my god. All right. Uh, today we're doing compression versus limiting. And because so many people have no clue what the hell compression is. So I'm here to show you the way. Show you the way, grasshopper. All right. Anyways, I'm going to plug in my guitar because I do this completely unprepared. All right, kind of out of tune, but you'll get the idea. Okay, now, compression. It is simple math, okay? You take, let me just give you an analogy here, okay? 10 divided by 2 equals 5, correct? Correct. So, if you have a compression, let's slow it up for delimiter. It has like a built-in thing here. Now, I'm going to get a clipped signal here, okay? So, like, I'm really, really sorry about... Hey. Sorry if um, crap is going to sound really loud to you, but... All right, see? Now, with the limiter, if we have a signal that goes up to zero decibels... Or wait, no, let's look here. So it goes up to peaks at 2. If you look right here, peaks at minus 2. So we take our fruity limiter. We have an input of minus 2 decibels full scale. Okay, that's dBFS. And uh, it's simple math. Remember, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So if we have our threshold at 12, minus 12, if you when you reduce this gauge, it has a tip up here in the top left. Okay, so watch it until it's minus 12. Because my guitar is coming through at minus two when I do that. Now, you'll see that on the limiter, it has a response gauge. This tells you how much it's going to be compressed. The blue line tells you the threshold. And then this little peak here is how much over the threshold you are. So, I have my input going to minus two. My threshold at 12. The remainder of that is 10, okay? So if I take my ratio and put it to 2, 2, let's look here. It's going to go to, remember, 10 minus 2, or 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So 2 minus 5 equals minus 7. All right, let's see if I'm right. Minus 7 is right here. Sorry, my mouse keeps moving on me. Ah, well, you'll see it anyways. Minus 7. Oh, he was right. So there's simple compression for you, okay? Basically, it's division. That's all it is. So if we take uh, 4, okay, uh, if the compression ratio is 4, then we have a th where our the stuff going over the threshold is 10 divided by 4 equals 2.5. So it's going to go from 12 to plus 2.5 is 9.5, minus 9.5 decibels full scale. Yep, right where my mouse is. So, that's a quick compression overview. This is FL Noob Zone, so I'm going really quick here. Um, I'll go, go deeper into compression in another video. But you also have attack and release um, with compression, which we won't do right now. Anyways, now limiting is pretty much compression with our ratio at infinity. Okay, so the threshold that you put it at will... It will not go over. See, with compression, it still does a little bit because of the release and attack settings. So, well, let's get rid of our compression, okay? And we'll go to limiter. That's how you switch between compression and limiter. Now, the ceiling is your limiter, um, like, threshold, essentially, okay? So, let's put it, and you can see that it will not go over this. It is a limiter. It limits the volume. Now, if you want a more crunchy kind of sound, reduce the release, and you'll get that. You'll get a really, really compressed sound or limited sound. If you put the release up, it's a more, more breathable type of sound. Attack is um, pretty important too. Um, you can't have zero milliseconds attack, or you're gonna have like really. It's gonna clip. You'll hear the clipping. Because it's essentially, it's like clipping the volume to exact square wave, you know, and you do not want that. So the limiter comes preset at about two milliseconds, 
and that's awesome for it. So, um, that is my very, very quick explanation on limiting. So, any questions, just put it in the comment box and, uh, or compression and limiting. Anyways, enjoy your compression now. Oh, wait, one last thing. Okay, so because this is so essential with compression is noise gates. Noise gate, it's right on the right, and it never changes if you c click between ch compression and limiting. So, noise gate, threshold. Um, Because I use, like, good preamps, my threshold is, like, minus... It could be minus 50, and then I take my gain and turn it all the way down. That essentially mutes the sound until the sound is going through until a louder volume then the threshold is going through similar to how compression works you work with the threshold when it goes over it activates okay that's another way of looking at uh that and you can also use it for voice voice i really like i actually have um onboard compression with my uh motu here so you're not going to really notice the difference but here we go uh we got compression let's take the threshold down and then ratio at about six radio announcer. And you hear that ducking? You hear that sound? I don't like that. So when you're compressing, compressing, you don't want to use too much of that. Now, um, radio announcers use limiters too. So here on WKRX radio, I'm like a really quick release and pretty quick compression. Here on WRX radio, we are awesome okay enjoy your compression now that you know how do it do it do it fl noob zone <laughs>